In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the rate of a chemical reaction. First, let me define the rate. The rate is how fast something is changing with respect to time. For example, speed is a rate. If I want to measure the speed of a car, we have to measure the distance covered by that car within a certain time. If I want to measure the growth of a tree, we have to measure how its height is changing with respect to time. So to calculate the rate of a chemical reaction, we have to measure how the concentration of the reactants is decreasing with time, or we can measure it by calculating how the concentrations of the products are increasing with time. If we have a chemical reaction like A produces B, to write the rate low for this chemical reaction, we have to write it as follows. Rate is equal to negative delta concentration of A over delta T. And let me explain what does that mean. Delta concentration of A, it means concentration of A final minus concentration of A initial. And delta T means T final minus T initial. And let me explain why we multiply it by a negative value. As you know, A is a reactant, which means that its concentration is going to decrease with time, which means that concentration final minus concentration initial is going to be a negative. For us to get a positive value for the rate, we multiply it by a negative sign. That's why if you want to calculate the rate from the reactants, you have to multiply the fraction by a negative sign. It's going to be negative delta concentration of reactant over delta T. But if you want to measure the rate from the products, then it's going to be as follows. Rate is going to be equal to delta concentration of B over delta T, which means concentration of B final minus concentration of B initial divided by T final minus T initial. Before we go to the practice part, let me bring your attention for something which is very important. What if we have the equation is having coefficients, like what if we have a balanced chemical equation? Like in the following example. A plus 2B gives 3C plus D. If I want to write the rate low for this chemical reaction, I have to take into consideration the coefficients of that balanced chemical equation so the rate low is going to be as follows rate it's equal to negative delta concentration of a divided by delta t or negative delta concentration of b divided by 2 delta t as you noticed we use the coefficient and we put it in the denominator or we can use it to be equal to delta concentration of C divided by 3 delta T or equal to delta concentration of D divided by delta T. So in case if we have coefficients in the balanced chemical equation, we have to put these coefficients in the denominator while we calculate the rate for a chemical reaction. And now let's move to the practice part by solving this exercise. <laughs> The following equation and the data are the decomposition of NO2 at 300 degrees Celsius. We have a table that shows the concentration of NO2 at different times. The first question, we have to determine the average rate for the reaction. The average rate, it means that we have to take the T final, which is the last time recorded, which is 400, and T initial is going to be the first time recorded, which is time T0. We have to take the concentration at time 400 and the concentration at time T0. The rate is going to be as follows. Rate is equal to negative delta concentration of NO2 over 2 delta T. Negative because NO2 is a reactant and we divide it by 2 delta T because we have 2 as a coefficient in the balanced chemical equation. So we replace, we put concentration final which is 0.0062 minus the concentration initial which is 0.02 divided by 2 into 400 minus 0 and 
the answer is going to be 1.725 times 10 to the power negative 5 molar per second for the second part determine the initial rate in the first 100 seconds of the reaction 100 seconds it means that we need to calculate the final concentration at time equal to 100 and the initial concentration is going to be at time equal to zero so here we have to consider the t final is 100 and t initial is zero also we write the low rate it's equal to negative delta concentration of NO2 over 2 delta T we replace the concentrations by their values 0 0.0130 minus 0 0.02 divided by 2 into 100 minus 0 and the answer is going to be 3.5 times 10 to the power negative 5 molar per second Question 3. Determine the rate of the reaction between 200 seconds and 400 seconds, which means that we have the initial time is 200 and the final time is 400. So we write the, the rate low. Rate is equal to negative delta concentration of NO2 over 2 delta T. Concentration final is going to be 0 0.0062 minus concentration initial is going to be 0 0.0096 divided by 2 into 400 minus 200 the answer is going to be 8.5 times 10 to the power negative 6 molar per second and the last question is going to be as follows calculate the rate of the formation of NO2 at time 250 seconds in this case we have to take one time after the 250 and one time before the 250 the one after is going to be the final and the one before is going to be the initial so I'm going to take the 300 is the final and the 200 is the initial so i'm going to replace them in the low rate it's equal to negative delta concentration of no2 divided by 2 delta t and we replace by the values concentration final is going to be 0 0.0076 which is at 300 seconds minus 0 0.0096 which is at 200 seconds divided by 2 into 300 minus 200 and the answer is going to be 1 times 10 to the power negative 5 molar per second so it's easy to calculate the rate we just find the concentration final minus concentration initial divided by t final minus t initial if we have the average we take the t final is the last one and initial is the first one if he's asking for Two different times we know which one's the final which one's the initial if he's asking about a certain time like in the last question he's asking about 250 so we take the one after and the one before the one after is going to be the final and the one before is going to be the initial and that's it for how to calculate the rate of a chemical reaction if you find my videos are useful subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified and watch the new videos don't forget to share this video with your friends and write me a comment, thank you.